But what about you, for you personally, with all the changes in position coaches? What's that? What's that been like? Because you, this it's, is your third, right? Yeah, it's been fun though. Um, honestly, I can say that at the end of the day, you know, you take what you can from each person that you learn. So ultimately, you know, I look at it as you know, I get to learn a bit more about the people. Take me through the uh, studying how giants have fallen. What have you guys studied? What what sort of stuff with giants fallen have you watched? Um, I think we've watched a lot of stuff. Um, and I think the overall message of all of them has just been make sure that you stay humble, make sure that you stay focused, make sure that you stay uh, who you've always been. Because I think that when you allow yourself to deviate from what you've always done, um, that's when the mighty can fall. Take me to the 30 hours that you didn't, uh, that you got to celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> what was that like? Um, I mean, it wasn't as grand as you would think. Um, honestly, I spent a lot of that time with my family. Um, so I think we won. And we might have got back to the hotel at like 1, 2 in the morning. I may have stood there and talked to my family until like maybe 4 or 5 in the morning. Just talking to them and kind of enjoying the moment. Um, and then I think I maybe went to sleep for like an hour and we had to get on the plane. So it was something crazy like that. So the majority of the time was spent with family and traveling. Cedric, when you look at the, the, the styles of coaches, I mean, Pittman like the big bodies. And yeah. then with Luke, you know, a trimmer bunch, more athletic bunch. How's, how Stacy fit in? And does he does he seem more like one than the other compared to what you've heard been through? That's a good question. I think um, Coach Searles may be uh, in between the two, if that makes sense. Like, um, he wants you to be bigger, but he also wants you to be able to move. So I don't think you have to be super big or super agile. I think as long as you can get the job done, Coach Searles said. Has anybody who watched the NFL draft would have good reason to wonder what this Georgia defense can can do with lost, lost so much. What did you see in spring? Can you tell us about how this defense is going to replace the last game? Well, I think the biggest thing is to not focus on replacing last year. I think we try to focus on replacing something. That's where you go wrong because your focus and your energy is on um, doing what other people did instead of just going out and playing football for your brother. So, I think as long as we stay focused on, you know, being a team and everyone doing their job, I think we'll be more fine. What kind of changes have you seen in Eric Gilbert since he transferred? Has there been a maturation process? Uh, what type of changes are you talking about? Anything. <laughs> like, is his body change? Is it, is it a sort of mental? His body's like, definitely changed. <laughs> uh, mentally, is it different? Yeah, the guy's a, a freak, man. Um, I was telling somebody else this, but Arik is like, you almost sometimes forget that he came from another place because He's embraced the guys around the locker room so much, and the guys have embraced him. So I think that, you know, having the Rikaran is definitely a good thing for our team. Out, outside of the quarterback room, maybe nobody knows Stetson better than you since you're his center, I guess. Uh, why is he underrated, or why does he not get the respect you think that he maybe should get? Um, I mean, honestly, I can't answer that. I, I don't know. Um, but I can say that ultimately our goal is to win football games. and. You know, as long as you know he continues to keep doing it, I think we're fine. Coach Pittman said this morning that uh, he, you did, you, when you camped at UGA, he did a workout. He kind of looked at you and he said, "That's the guy, you know, right there." And just how talk about your relationship with him during your recruitment and your relationship with Coach Luke and now Coach Searles, and how is that? You've had three offensive line coaches in the last couple of years. So I'll say this: I have a tremendous amount of respect for Coach Pittman. Um, love the guy; he's a good person. Um, he looks to take care of his players, so I have nothing but respect every time I see him. He always shows love. I show love to him, so it's a, it's a good relationship. Um, Coach Luke was a great relationship as well. Coach Luke was one of those guys, you know, he wears the emotions on his sleeve, but it's a good thing. Like, you know, like, when Coach Luke is proud of you, he is. He's proud of you, so I think that was one of the best things of, like, sharing that moment with Coach Luke in the National Championship and him just telling me how proud he was and me, like, that was uh, something I hold near and dear to myself. And, you know, Coach Searles, you know, Coach Searles, another guy, you know, calls us, you know, almost once or twice, you know, a month and, hey, how's your family, how's your dad, you know, how's everybody doing? So I think I have a great relationship with all of those guys and I have a tremendous amount of respect for all of them. You guys, you guys come here as defending national champions. Yet not a lot of people are saying or asking, hey, can you guys repeat? It doesn't seem like whatever. I'm just wondering what your, what are your thoughts on that? Do you like the fact that everybody's talking about Alabama or somebody else? Maybe? Uh, personally, I don't know what you're talking about because um, I haven't really paid much attention to it. Um, I can say this. I don't think we necessarily look at it as uh, defending national champions because, in my personal opinion, I feel that it's a new season. You know, you have to go in and you have to focus on each game from game one to two to 12, you know. And uh, I think every week you take it with 
you know, a great amount of seriousness, a great amount of respect for your opponent, and you just go in and you attack it. Do you the, feel you have the talent on, on the team to, to go out and do everything you want to do and win another title? Absolutely, but I feel like everyone has the talent. I think talent is not what wins games, though. When y'all studied the stuff about Giants falling, was that like watching?